Welcome back to your favorite Big Brother fans. Back again with another Celebrity Big Brother video. Now, I normally don't do uh, live feed spoilers, but last night and yesterday, I watched the feeds for a good five hours, like probably over five hours. I'm just going to say it was five hours because I didn't really time it. Um, I recorded some stuff on my phone while I was watching it just to put it on YouTube because I figured why not because I was watching it for so long. But... A lot of good stuff happened on the feeds, and that's what kept me tuned in for so long. So I'm just going to share it with y'all. In case y'all don't know, uh, Tom Green, well, obviously this is a spoiler video because it's live feeds. The HOH competition already happened. Tom Green ended up winning it. I'm not sure what it was. I think it was something scary because I'm pretty sure Tamar ended up not doing it. But they learned about the twist that's coming up the publicist twist and this has taken over the whole house apparently <laughs> this was the main thing that happened on the feeds for over five hours uh... they went uh... they went to the diary room one at a time and i guess they were told or whatever tom green has went crazy over the publicist twist he wants to know who got the power he ended up nominating candy and joey and in his speech he said it was because he thinks they're the most likely to get the power. I'm not sure how he came up with that. If I'm inside the house and I'm Tom Green and I'm just thinking, 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 out of everyone left, who's most likely to get the power? Well, actually, I'm not even going to say that. But, I, honestly, right now, the fan favorite from Big Brother, at least from what I've seen online, has been Tom Green. So, I was thinking, like, maybe Tom Green got the power. And I'm going to just let y'all know this right now. Throughout all these hours watching... No one has admitted to having the power to the cameras or to anyone else. So I'm not sure who has the power, but Tom Green was going crazy trying to figure it out. Candy was crying at one point because she was very upset that she was on the block. I didn't see this part on the feed, but they talked about it. Um, I found that very surprising because I didn't know Candy was like that, just sensitive and crying and stuff. But apparently she is, and Tamar is very defensive about not having the power uh, the four, Team Fun, which is Tom, Kato, Natalie, and Lolo, all agree that they don't have the power. But there's a lot of speculation about Ricky. So they think that Ricky has the power. Natalie and Lolo are kind of like, no, because they like Ricky a lot. Team Fun almost exp imploded at one point. You can watch that video on my feeds where Kato and Tom were questioning Natalie and Lolo. And <laughs> Inside the gym, mind you, Natalie Eva Marie is on the elliptical, I think that's what it's called. If, if I'm saying that wrong, that's going to be very embarrassing and very awkward. But she was on that for like an hour straight, like listening to them talk. And Natalie is in the best position to win this game, in my opinion, because out of the pairs, Natalie is the good one. Out of Tom and Kato, Kato's the good one, but I didn't learn that until tonight. But Natalie, all while they're arguing, she's just working out, working out, working out, going, going, going. And she's not really like, she's like trying to play it off. Like, would y'all just stop? Let's talk about this later. Let's talk about this later. Lolo, you know, she's a hothead. She ends up yelling at Tom. Like, all right, um, I saw y'all talking to Dina. Y'all saved her last week. Like, maybe y'all have a deal with Dina and y'all not telling us that you actually have the power. So, Tom's whole thing is he wants to find out who has this power and put them up. So he's questioning everybody. He had this weird, awkward conversation with Tamar, which Tom Green is a weirdo. If you go back and watch this, it was very awkward. Like, he was bouncing around and talking weird and in her face. And I would have reacted just like Tamar did because that was just awkward and weird. And then when he went back to a team fun, Tom said that the conversation with Tamar went great. So what, what happened inside the conversation with Tamar was, Tom wanted Tamar to figure out if Candy had the power. Now, me personally, I think Tamar has it. Because she seems very, very, very defensive about this power. And she doesn't want to talk about it. But she keeps bringing other people around like, Candy, what happened? Like, she keeps asking about like what happened when he questions you about the power. So I'm thinking Tamar has it and she's just denying it very, very well. But... Tamar and Tom, that's just my opinion. If he, if she doesn't have it, I'm thinking maybe some random person like Dina. But Tamar also had an argument with Dina. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is all over the place. I didn't take notes. But uh, Tom and Tamar, so he wanted Tamar to do that. And Tamar's like, okay. And uh, she, Candy didn't tell me that she had the power. But uh, if she does have it or if she doesn't, then what? And Tom's like, well, someone has to go up. 
First of all, no veto's been played. Well, Y'all don't even know if anybody else has to go up. But Tamar's like, oh, so you threatening me. Again, this is why I think she has it, and nobody's picked up on this. But she's very, very, very defensive. So, and we know that the power can be used for... Excuse me, the power can be used for this eviction or next eviction. So, maybe she's trying to save it. If she has it at all, she I could be reading into this so much. But a lot of people online seem to think Tamar has it too. Um, I don't think anyone in Team Fun has it because I, Lolo keeps saying that she would tell if she had it. Uh, so uh, Lolo talks to Eva Marie and Lolo, and she basically said, I'm sorry I keep changing Natalie's name. I keep changing, calling her Eva Marie or Natalie. I'm used to calling her Eva Marie, but it seemed like the house more calls her Natalie, so that's why I'm trying to get used to calling her that but Natalie talk oh my gosh Tamar, Tamar talks to Lolo and Natalie the original alliance the original girls alliance and she says like uh my conversation with Tom did not go well you know blah 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 blah, blah. Lolo's like oh well ours didn't either but inside the conversation Kato kind of calmed them down but at one point Tom actually walked out and said I see what's going on he talked to Kato by himself in the HOH room and he said I think that the girls have something with Ricky because when they bring up Ricky when Tom brings up Ricky the girls are very defensive about him because they want to put Tom wants to backdoor Ricky which I hope he does and I'll tell y'all why in a second the girls are defensive towards Ricky because they like Ricky now I'm not saying that they actually would go to final five and then switch on the boys on Tom and Kato but they trust Ricky and they think that there's no reason to get rid of him right now He's on their side. This is this reeks of the hive <laughs> and Fessy and Scotty. Because Ricky really is on their side, but Ricky is more shady than Scotty was. Scotty wasn't shady at all. But back to Celebrity Big Brother. We also see Tamar or Candy crying because she well, first of all, she was she was hanging out with Ricky a lot of this day playing cards. But then at one point Tom asked her if she had to the power again and actually I just uploaded this video it might be my last one so y'all can go check that out and he said she said he's she goes off on him talking about I, you keep asking me this I keep telling you I don't even if I did have it I would not have came after you Ricky jumps in their conversation and says like he basically like goes off which I was surprised about I didn't think Ricky was like this especially on candy because he really liked candy because and I, he's been very friendly with Candy, I feel, because he listened to her music. So he's like, a, I feel like he's a fan of Candy. That's what I feel like. And maybe his wife watches Real Housewives of Atlanta, to be honest. Because he seems very friendly with Candy. Now, Lolo, and, Lolo in particular, gets a little bit of doubt on Ricky. She thinks maybe Ricky does have it. Ricky slipped up a few times. Maybe Ricky does have I never really thought that he does have Ricky said, like, America would never vote for me. And me, personally, I would agree with him because I thought he was a pretty boring character. I didn't really like him that much. But he did stir the pot a little bit. And Lola made a good point, too. She said, America wouldn't give it to us five because we're in the best position in the house. We have a big alliance. We just got rid of two strong players. And I agree with that. Why would you vote for Lolo, Eva, Ricky, Kato or Tom, they're all in good positions. The people that are in bad positions are Tamar and Joey. Those are the two, well, Candy Candy and Dina are not really doing anything. So Joey, well Joey, shoot. <laughs> Joey, but I put on Twitter, like, can no one, no one vote for Joey, please, because Joey doesn't want to be there. Like, inside the feeds, he also talked about, I can't wait till y'all send me home so you can be over with. Um, Joey also said, like, to Tamar, it needs to be me, you, so Joey, Tamar, Candy, and Dina. We need to get together and form a four so that we can go against a five, and then maybe we can pull in another one. I don't see that happening, but his first, his initial response was pretty good. Joey and Tamar are actually getting really close. Tamar's not in that alliance anymore, and Lolo kind of does want Tamar out. This whole, like, a lot of stuff happened, and I'm just, I'm just, I feel like if y'all are following me, thank y'all. If y'all are following me this far, leave a emoji of a pineapple inside the comments. If you don't have, if you're watching this on your desktop and you don't have an emoji of a pineapple, leave the word pineapple inside the comments right now because 
we are almost 10 minutes in and I have no clue where I even am. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of talk from Tom. Tom and Team Fun, they're talking about either Ricky or Tamar has it. So they want to take Joey off because Kato and Tom agree that Joey doesn't have it because he swore on his daughter, which I believe he doesn't have it either. And if he, if anybody was to swear on their child, I would definitely believe them 100%. So they thank Tamar and Ricky. That has become the house conclu or the that side team funds conclusion, except Ricky because Ricky's not inside the room. Joey walks in, and then there's a big fight between Joey and Lolo, which you can also see on my channel. They ask jo Joey if he has the power. He's like, no. At this point, even Marie's still on that thing, on that machine that. Her workout thing and she's trying to get them out telling them to leave like let's talk about this later Lolo's trying to do her squats and she can't do that Tom is going crazy he talked about he said the word power at least a million times okay at least 1,000 times I would say a thousand like and I'm not over exaggerating okay 500 he said at least 500 times the word power <sighs> yeah, it, it was crazy off yeah the feeds were crazy last night but it was kind of in circles, too, because Tom just kept talking about this power. So they all are inside the room. They said, and Joey said, if y'all just had to guess one person, don't overthink it. Just the first person off the top of your head. Who do you think has the power? Joey says Ricky. Tom says Tamar, but Tom doesn't really think Tamar. He thinks Ricky. I don't know why he said that. Kato says Ricky. I think he was covering for Tom because he knows Tom wanted to say it. Lolo says Tamar. And Eva Marie doesn't really want to say anybody. She's like, I don't know. Like, she wanted them to leave really bad. Joey ended up getting into it with Lolo because Lolo doesn't like when people cut her off. That's why she got into it with Tom for a second time because she got into it with, with him the first time for something different because he kept questioning her. This time, she said, like, you keep cutting me off and I hate that. Stop cutting me off. You do that all the time. I like you, but stop. And then they start going back and forth. Well, not really back and forth. It was really just Lolo being a hot head. Then, when it was Joey, I saw him cut her off, and I'm like, oh, she's about to go off. And she did kind of sort of go off. You guys can see that inside the video. But Joey's so cool. He's like, all right, all right, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And he just turns his feet to walk out. And that made Lolo even more mad because she's like, oh, no, he's going to walk out like that. But, yeah. Um, where was I? So, they agree that someone's coming off the block, most likely Joey, and they're going to put up. Tamar or Ricky, the guys kind of agree that they want to put Ricky up. Uh, Kato is talking to Lolo, and he's kind of like, I wouldn't rule out Candy. Why do they care who has this power so much? This is, this is it makes no, I don't know. It's so stupid, y'all, this power. Like, why do you want this power out so bad? Like, I agree with Tamar with this. So, um... Where else? Where else am I? Oh, and Kato is just trying to say, if it's our four, it's our four. Let's get Ricky out because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's our, it's us four. That's what Tom was saying, not Kato. So they say, all right. I mean, Ricky can go, but the girls are reluctant. They don't want Ricky to go for real, but they're just like telling them, telling the boys what they want to hear. So Ricky, Lolo, and even Marie really like Ricky. And inside the bedroom, they're kind of like hinting to Ricky, like. Be careful, you know, this is going on, but they're not really telling him. And he's like, well, it doesn't really matter. They're not going to go against us. And they're like, you were not inside the, the workout room, the gym. And he's not catching on to what they're trying to tell him. So Ricky is in a lot of trouble, way more trouble than he thinks. And personally, I hope Ricky goes home because the five alliance, the, the fun alliance is way too strong. It's way too strong and it's boring to watch. So what I want to happen is Ricky goes because that turns five into four. And then you still have the four. Dina, Joey, Tamar, and Candy. So it's four versus four. Tom can't compete. So now it's three versus four. This side has the more advantage. Kind of questionable about Dina, though. So if Dina, if one of the four wins, they can put up two of the fun alliance. And then the Fun Alliance has one number gone. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to see happen. Um, there was something else I wanted to tell y'all about that was like a key something. 
Oh, Tom says, uh, we can get Ricky out. Well, we're going to take Joey off, put Ricky up. Which this is all so stupid because the veto has not been played. They haven't even picked players, so they don't even know what's going to happen. They don't even know what the power can do. So what they're thinking is they're going to put Ricky up and say, we think you have the power. And if he uses it, we put Tamar up and we say, sorry, Ricky, you know, but you, you lied to us, so it's okay. But if he doesn't have it and he goes up, they just vote him out. That's, that's the thing that they're doing. I won't be surprised if Lolo and Eva turn and keep Ricky. I will not be surprised. But that's it for the spoilers, y'all. A lot happened. I probably didn't tell y'all everything. I know I didn't. It was mainly just all the power talk. That's it. I feel that Tamar has it. Uh, Dina accused Tamar of having it at one point. <sighs> I'm trying to think from the Big Brother fans, who would they vote for? I feel like the Big Brother fans was fans of Jonathan the most, and he's left week one, so or day one, or eviction one. So I'm not sure who they would vote for. So um, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all forms of social media. Until next time, catch y'all later.